YouTube, what's going on? Today we are back out at Lone Star Ranch Pond and I'm here with Christian. We got less than an hour and a half, so I gotta really get to it. I just wanted to do a quick intro for you guys, let you know where we're at right off Lebanon. Let's get out there. Okay guys, we're in action. Put this backpack on. But I just got done rigging up the PB&J jig with the crack and crawl trailer. And I got the Texas rig trench hog out here in front. And I'm pretty sure Christian's up throwing baits at the top pond, so we're gonna leave this one be for a second. We might try it in a minute, but we're gonna give this one a shot up here. What's up? Well, I got one tied on, so I'm gonna <laughs> And after seeing his video, John's video, I said, you know what, a jig might work. <laughs> Do you want to toss one real quick? Do you have a hook? Because I've got some unless you have them as well. No, I don't have them. Yeah, dude. You, uh, I've been having a lot of luck with the Bandito bug. Right now I'm throwing the Trench Hog. We can see which one works better. A lot of people don't peg their weights anyways. Have you Have you not? No, I've never used one. I've tried to go to... Uh... Well, cut that thing off. I just bought some. Here, I'm going to... Yeah, dude, I just bought some more of the thingamabobs. You want um, green or, or, or black and blue? Oh, yeah. We'll see if they want the hog or the bandito bug. It's been almost an hour. I think they're all sleeping. Oh! <laughs> Christian getting the first one. We've been fishing for a minute. Was that on the bottom? Oh! I gotta make a switch. Two, two and a half. Yeah? Two, two and a half, it's dead on. <laughs> two and a quarter, 224. Nice, dude. Red lipless. All right, I gotta throw, I gotta make a switch. I don't have a red one. I'm gonna go with my classic and see what happens. Let's go ahead and get him in there. Cause now we got competition. We gotta beat two and a quarter. Dang guys, hour and 20 minutes out here. Not so much as a bite. Really weird. I'm gonna go ahead and try the main pond and the one just above it for about 10 more minutes. Just give it that amount of time and see if we can't snag us one real quick. One, two. All right, that's enough for this morning. I'll catch you guys at the next spot. Don't know what just happened there, but uh, I guess my knot broke. <laughs> Gotta run. What's up, man? Oh, slow morning. My buddy got one up top with a crankbait, but nothing down here. I just had about 10 more minutes, so I figured I'd try, but uh, yep, good luck. So, today is also the Christmas tree lighting in the shops at Legacy in Plano, and I'm going to head down there and meet up with Christian, try and do some fishing at the shops at Legacy Pond, where they're gonna be doing the tree lighting uh, probably around sunset, I imagine. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, so we'll probably have a couple hours to try and get these bass. I haven't caught anything big out of here, but there's definitely some action. They like to hit the wacky rig here, I found, so this will be a little different finesse style. I think we can snag some on the drop shot rig, especially with the scent on these Guggen baits. It should be a bunch of fun. Also might be pretty busy and high potential of getting kicked out. So, let's get there. Alright y'all, we here. Let's just go ahead and carry in the Dragon Drops. We'll bring the camera. I might grab the pliers, put these in my back pocket. We're gonna travel light. How's it going? Homie's on like a hoverboard with his husky over here. <laughs> but see, the thing is with this spot, the water is crystal clear, not like most places I fish. That's why I definitely wanted to do the leader line. Let's go ahead and rig one of these up. Oh yes. Look at that. Watermelon red. I would say Christian has arrived, but really, I have arrived because I got here late. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> I've fished it a couple times and usually the wacky rig is what gets them, man. One, two. We didn't have any luck. 
look at the legacy pond so we came over here to the Dallas North Tollway slash Gate Lord location and we're gonna give this one a shot for a minute I tried the crankbait for just a second over here but I'm thinking Texas rigs low play might be nice so I tied on the bandito bug and the natural color now I'm gonna come over here to these rocks so cold I don't even know how I got the hook set. First cast, dude. Fill the jig of the Texas rig over there by the uh, fountain. I had a bigger bite and I uh, didn't let him have it for long enough and then this guy got it close to the bank. They're chilling over here. All right, it's been hours worth of fishing. It's close to sunset. We're gonna try and snag a few more out of this one here because I think the bite's on out in the bottom, so. Yeah, man, I had a, uh, I had a bigger hit like right out there by it. Oh, you do. Is that is that a rattle trap? Yeah. Another rattle trap. Second one of the evening. We should have started off here, man. We wasted hours at the other spot and this one combined throwing at the top pond. They're all hanging out over here in the bottom pond. Second one in just a couple minutes. This might be just right. Got him. Oh. He came off. Yeah, it's getting to be that time, huh? All right, I'll yeah, see you probably time. the next couple days or something, I don't know. Did you toss the pliers back in there or just leave them on top or anything? Oh, hey, I got one. <laughs> it took us a while to find the bite, but once they got a hold of it, man, they really got a hold of it, these little guys. So it's been a bunch of fun, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace. <gasps>